it's spring break so she does not have preschool this week which has been interesting after i got used to her going to school and like having that time to get stuff done it kind of threw me off a little bit but it's okay um luckily i had a lot of videos and work done ahead of time so i wasn't struggling too much this week my housekeeper is coming again today which by the way i still had some people who were confused on my last video when i mentioned that like thinking that i am a princess who has a maid that comes and cleans after me every day no, this is just somebody who comes like once a month to do a deep clean, but she is coming today. It is much needed, you guys. I have not been able to keep my house under control and I don't know if it's if it's just me, if Zaya is just really good at making messes or if I'm just not good at cleaning or I don't know what the issue is, but I have not been able to keep my house together for the past year she's here to do a deep clean to like clean the floors and stuff like that so if there's toys all over the floor that's not really ideal for her so of course last night i totally forgot about it and didn't do it so now i'm like oh she's supposed to be coming at 9 a.m it's 8 a.m i need to get my butt up and uh pick up some of these toys and our clothes and stuff like that that are going to be in her way and i'm trying to be quiet because it's much easier for me to do this when zaya is still asleep it's oh you know what it is daylight savings so that's why she's probably sleeping in a little bit later so anyway let me do this to be quiet while you're picking up toys that make noise and the reason why I'm having to be extra quiet is because Zaya normally sleeps with a white noise machine I know I've said that like a hundred times and not only does it help her fall asleep but it helps like create a barrier of peaceful noise around her to where she can't usually hear any other noise in the house to wake her up but her white noise machine broke the other day and I keep forgetting to buy a new one so that's going to be part of what we do today uh -oh. hi boo boo do you wake up i knew you were going to wake up where are you what are you doing did you wake up you want to come downstairs and eat some breakfast <laughs> Why not? Let's come downstairs. Good boy. Can you have a kiss? If you're wondering how she got out of bed, it's because she was actually sleeping in my bed. She wasn't in her crib. Maybe she watch her Peppa Pig. Huh? Maybe you watch her Pig. You want to watch Peppa Pig? Well, you should get up on the couch so you're not on the dirty floor with your blanket. The floor is dirty right now. Thank you. Huh? You want some orange crackers, please? You don't have orange crackers for breakfast? Peanut butter crackers? How about a waffle? You want a waffle? Okay. I am having coconut milk yogurt alternative raspberry flavored granola in it it has dried raspberries in it and then some fresh raspberries on top and did i mention it was raspberry yogurt as well so we're just having a raspberry extravaganza okie dokie so it's about 10 30 a.m now the downstairs is what are you doing the downstairs is being cleaned i just got zaya dressed with her hair combed and she has managed to get her face dirty again already <laughs> and we both kind of have a runny nose today so apologize for the sniffles in advance i did not put on any makeup i didn't even fix my hair from earlier i really should at least redo my bun but i just put on a comfy sweater from zara plain black leggings from forever 21 and these um uh adidas teal mint green what shade what is this turquoise i don't even know my colors anymore but um basically i just want to get out of her way cleaning so that we're not just like 
making a mess behind her or in her way. So we're gonna go run some errands. All right, so we're going off for the day. We have several places that I want to go to. I wanna start off by getting something to eat and I honestly think that I just wanna go to IHOP even though there's barely anything at IHOP that is gluten free or dairy free. IHOP is just full of gluten and full of dairy. But I actually really like the way that they do their eggs and I do like their sausage and I do like their hash browns. And Zaya, I think, will eat like the little kids' pancakes. So I'm probably just gonna order pancakes with all the sides. Zaya can have the pancakes, I can have the sides. And then after that, I wanna go to probably Bed Bath and Beyond, Target, and Home Goods because. From Bed Bath & Beyond, I need to get Zaya a new white noise machine, like I mentioned earlier. I'm trying to make a a like a list right now because I always like I get into the store and then I get so distracted and I forget everything that I'm supposed to get. So white noise machine. I need a spice rack thingy for my kitchen. I need what else? So I just realized that my tripod is broken. I don't know if they sell tripods at any of these stores I might have to just order one on Amazon usually when it comes to like tech equipment or camera equipment I always just order it online because I was saying go 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 yes we're gonna go in a moment what else now I can't think of what the other things were from home goods I want to look at stuff for my kitchen shelf I do not like the stuff that's on my sh I have like a bunch of pineapples and stuff that I'm just like tired of looking at so I want to get like some different little decor pieces to go in my kitchen as well as some new sugar jars from Target oh from Target I need Drano because one of my bathroom sinks is low-key clogged are you coloring what color is this? Wow, is that a dragon? Here's your apple juice. <laughs> is it good? Bacon, eggs, pancakes. And some eggs, and some salt and pepper on it. Some eggs. Does that look good? I guess you have to use a big girl fork. Mmm, whipped cream, yummy. Taste it. Is it good? Yummy. This is what I have to do to be able to eat my food. We here. And it's time to get out go to the store. and go to the store. So we just finished eating at IHOP. Zaya, of course, was pretty much refusing to eat anything. I got her to eat a few bites of like bacon, eggs, and just a few mm -hmm. bites of one of Banana. each thing. Admittedly, I ate some of the pancakes. I'm already regretting it. I don't know why I did that, but I did enjoy my eggs and my hash browns. So now we have just pulled up to Target. We have just pulled up to Target, which I honestly just need one thing. Just one thing. Let's keep that in mind. I just need one thing. And that is some Drano to unclog my sink. But, you know how that goes. People think I'm crazy filming my child at Target, filming myself at Target, talking to myself at Target. Are you gonna get an Easter basket? Oh, look at all the candy and the Easter stuff. Oh, they have golden eggs. And cute little stuffed animals. That's very cute. Look at the tutu basket. Is that pretty? You like this one? I don't like this one. 
That's kind of creepy. They got a unicorn Hi. basket. These are fancy. Cute. Huh? So soft. It's so soft. You want to see the soft duck? Okay. Uh huh. Is that so soft? It has eggs. Look at these eggs. The egg inside of an egg. I think you're having an Easter egg hunt at your school that I honestly should probably get some eggs for. Let's see. Should probably get multicolored ones. Maybe some blue and some pink. You want some eggs to give to your friends at school? Uh-oh, be careful. Oh, you putting it in your basket? How do you know about that? And I don't want to give you guys candy. I want to put like stickers or something in it. Open it home. We open it when we get home, yeah. Don't open it now. Don't open it now, okay? And we're not getting this. Mmm, of course, Paw Patrol. What's this? Peppa Pig egg? What's in there? Candy or toys? It's probably candy and you probably don't need it. What's that? That's just a wooden egg. Not impressed? One, two, three, four, five, six. I can get two of these. That'll be for one packet of the egg. Will those fit in there? I think so. Oh, here we go. We can put a few stickers in each one. Uh-oh. Let's put this back. Well, you're dropping everything. You gotta hang on to it or else you can't have it. What's the matter? Alright, now I'm just gonna have to get the one thing that I need because I is losing it. Do they even have it? What section would it be in? I thought it would be where the soap stuff is. Drano, 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 where are you? Are you getting sleepy? Is that the problem? Okay guys, so I'm actually in the middle of editing this vlog and I just had to stop and film this little clip to tell you guys why the audio keeps getting messed up in certain places. So the vlog camera that I use is the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. It's pretty much as far as I'm concerned, like one of the most loved, best, newest vlogging cameras out there. So I didn't think I would have any problems with it, except for the fact that I recently realized that these three little dots Right here under Mark II, that is the microphone. This is where the audio gets recorded. Here's the problem. If I'm not using my little mini tripod, which usually I am, but sometimes I don't have this with me and I don't have it connected to the bottom of the camera to hold the camera like this. But if I don't have this, then that means I'm just holding the camera, you know, the normal way. So the natural way to grab it is just, you know, like this. This is how, you know, a normal person will hold a camera. That way you're not pressing any of the buttons right here and you can see the screen and you've got a good grip on it. Except that means that your finger is literally right where the microphone is. So it's so super easy to accidentally cover the microphone with your finger when you're just holding the camera the normal way. So if you ever hear the audio getting muffled, it's because of that. Mops and brooms and come on Drano, show me Drano. Why would it be? I don't know. I came here for one thing, Target, don't let me down. I found the Drano. Well, I'm getting liquid plumber hair clog eliminator because I think that's my main problem in my bathroom is my hair. You want to hold this? No, this one? Okay, those are your stickers for your friends at school. Okay, now that you're in a better mood, can I look at the clothes for you? They've got 50% off clearance. You already have these pants though. This skirt is cute. It looks kind of big for 2T. Let me see, Boo Boo. No, you don't like it? Zaya. What do I keep saying? We open it when we go home. We don't open it in the store. You've got to stop doing that when I turn away. We don't open it in the store. 
Right? We open it when we go yeah. home. <laughs> you can't have it because you open it. And I tell you not to. Open it home? Yes, we open it at home. And I always tell you that, but you always sneak and try to open it when I'm not looking. And that's not nice. All right, we made it out of Target Alive, barely. Zaya was throwing a temper tantrum, so I had to bribe her with some gummy bears that I just bought for her because we still have like two more stores that I need to go to. And the fact that she was already losing it in Target was not a good sign. So we're just using the good old fashioned gummy bear bribe. All right, we're gonna go to Home Goods and we're gonna go to Bed Bath & Beyond, okay? And now you're happy because you have your gummy bears, right? And I'm about to just be ratchet and just go in this store with my tank top, with my bra showing. I think there's a hole in the bottom of this tank top. I was not planning on wearing this by itself, but it is too dang hot. Put it in the trash. A big one. Don't touch, please. And a small. Yeah, it's for the sugar. How do you know that? No, don't touch. Are we a big, open the bag? Hmm? Are we open? Open it? Yeah, it opens. But you have to be very careful because it's breakable. You don't need that. You beg to differ? These are actually really cute gold matte prints. They have one of Dallas in a black frame and they have a little one of Houston. But of course, they only have Dallas and Houston, they don't have Austin. Mm -hmm. Now we are heading to Bed Bath & Beyond and that is going to be the last place that we go. I really don't even want to go there because Zaya is losing it, but I really need to go there because I really need to get her white noise machine so she can start sleeping better and take a good nap today. So that's where we're heading. I need a white noise machine. I need a spice rack thingy. And I think that's pretty much it. I just drove two minutes to Bed Bath & Beyond and I turn around and Zaya has fallen asleep. Right when we pull up to the store. It's not like when she was a little baby when you could take the little carrier out and just plop the carrier on top of the basket and the baby would just be so cozy in the little carrier, just sleep, you know, everything was cool. But when you have a toddler, there's no way for them to sleep in the basket unless you just like, I guess I could just put her in the actual basket part or she can lay down, I don't know. The struggle of shopping with the toddler. I love you very much, but sometimes you make my life difficult. <laughs> the lady at Home Goods gave her a little sticker. We gotta get out, boo-boo. I'm sorry to wake you up. I know you're sleepy and you need a nap, but this is our last stop, okay? I'm sorry, boo-boo. I kinda wanna have all my spices nicely matching. That would be cute. But am I too lazy to do that? That is the question. Daya. So they've got this thingy, which, mm, I don't know. Then we got a double decker Lazy Susan, which could work. Because I have one Lazy Susan right now, but it's just not enough. I need something that's like double decker to make use of the space. But then they have this super deluxe spicy shelf. Fits any cabinet. Can be stacked or placed side by side. Guess we'll try it. Let me do it in the farm. What? A farm? A farm? What are you talking about? A horn rack? Did you press this horn? I don't hear anything. I hope you didn't press it. Okay, but don't press the button, okay? Because that makes a loud noise from the car. That's the car alarm. Oh, I just ordered one of these. I got the newer one. I got this one. Wow, is that cool? We just got one. It should be delivered today, actually. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Did you press the button? I hope my car alarm is not just going off out there. 
Mm, I don't know how I feel about cotton-based home decor. Okay, so we're home now. I just put the stuff inside. My housekeeper is still finishing up, and I actually have a couple of packages in the front office that I need to pick up. So I'm gonna drive over there to check my mail in Zaya's car. <laughs> we are going to drive in Zaya's car, meaning I'm going to control it and walk behind her. There we go. Ooh. You ready to go check the mail? Wow. Let's go. Back up, back up. We're gonna back out of here. Whee! Let's go. Beep, beep. Is that fun? Okay, we finally made it. Let's get out, get the mail. Carefully. Good job. Okay, let's go check the mail. So of course we make the drive over here and there's nobody there to give me my packages. So we have to turn around and go back and try again later. Well, we weren't able to check the mail, so we went over there for nothing, but that's okay. We had a nice little few minutes of outside time playing in the car, so I'm not even mad about that. And it, it um, what do you call it? It, wait, it, what is it called? It bought us enough, bought us enough time? Why can I not think of how to say this sentence right now? It, it wasted enough time <laughs> to let her finish up in here. So she just left and now the house is all clean. Oh, and I hear somebody outside my door delivering a package. It should be my Amazon stuff. Let's look through the peephole. Can you see? Do you see him? You see him? He's delivering our package. Let's see what it is. <gasps> wow. I ordered something really exciting. I ordered two really exciting things actually. So let's go ahead and wait, it's too heavy boo boo. I have to do it. Wow, is that a big package? Oh my goodness. But look how nice and clean the house is now. <laughs> What's the, you're sleepy. It's way past nap time. I'm gonna go ahead and get you your milk and put you down for a nap before I even do anything else. You know? You need to though. You really need a nap. Look, all your dishes are all nice and pretty and clean in here now. What are you doing? One second you're on the floor throwing a tantrum, the next second you're just doing something else like nothing ever happened. It's really time to take a nap. Don't you think you need a nap? No. You don't think so? No. I think so. Don't lay on the, on the kitchen rug. My vlog camera just died, but I had to capture this moment with my phone. The housekeeper literally just left two and a half minutes ago. What do you have to say for yourself? It's milk. Yeah, it's milk because you just, sn I don't even know. I literally had this milk sitting up here way on the counter. I was about to put the top on it, I stopped to put my camera down because my camera died. And in 2.5 seconds, she grabbed the open milk without a top and of course spilled it everywhere. How did you even reach that? You're starting to be able to reach a lot higher. And that is very scary. Wipe up all the milk. Make sure it's nice and dry. Good job. Good job because you have to learn that when you make a mess, you have to clean it up. I cannot believe you just did that. Just moments after this floor just got clean. How did you even reach that? Okie dokie, so I took like a 30 minute breather. I got Zaya in her bed for a nap. I think, I hope she's asleep now. And I just sat down and just rested my nerves and rested my bones for about 30 minutes while I let this camera battery charge. And I went ahead and brought inside my packages right there. So we're gonna see, I'm gonna show you what's in those. But real quick, I just wanna show you kind of what I ended up purchasing today. So I ended up getting this spicy shelf thingy because I need it for this 
um, area right here. I have this one little Lazy Susan that isn't even big enough to hold all of my spices and then it gets, I don't know, it's just a mess. So I think that that little shelf thingy should help. I mean, it looks, it looks nice on the package. We'll have to open it and try it out. So I'm gonna put that over here for now. Maybe I'll do that in a minute. And then from Target, I ended up getting two little thingies of plastic Easter eggs for Zaya's little Easter egg hunt at her preschool. So instead of giving them candy, I got little stamps and stickers, which should fit really nicely in these little eggs. I'm gonna put those together and bring them to her school later. From Home Goods, I ended up finding these two little white dishes or jars, I guess you would say. A slightly bigger one and a slightly smaller one. They're just really plain and simple porcelain jars. For my coconut sugar, I wanted a better container to put that in. But I like the fact that they're kind of like suctioned on there, like the lid fits really airtight so it'll actually kind of like stay fresh. I also randomly saw this hand soap and honestly I just liked it for the packaging because it had a little gold nozzle and I don't know, it's just gold and white and clear and I liked it and I also liked the smell of it. It's a grapefruit smell. And then the last little random thing that I got from Home Goods is this little hand statue. So it's just a golden little, doesn't that mean, I think that means I love you or I don't know, I forgot what that means. It actually is scented, it has like a little sweet lemongrass something or other inside of there. It's not really my favorite scent and that's not why I got it. I literally just got it because I like having little golden statues over here on my shelf. So I just got it to like go right here or something like so. Isn't that cute? And then also from Bed Bath & Beyond, I got Zaya's white noise machine, which is already set up and going in her room right now because she is taking a nap. So I actually wanna go ahead and see if I can set this up and see if it does the job or not. I guess first things first, I'm gonna have to take all my spices down out of here. Okay, so there's that cleared out. And with this Lazy Susan, I'm probably just gonna use it up on this shelf because I have all these supplements and vitamins up here that I could uh, put on the Lazy Susan instead. Oh, goodness gracious. I don't wanna put this together. All these instructions. I thought this was just gonna be like a quick little flip and fold and it's got all these little small pieces. It's got screws. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, well, see you in 45 minutes. Okay, so about 15 minutes later, I have all these extra pieces left over. I only ended up using one shelf and four legs to hold up the shelf. It wasn't really hard to put together, but it's just like a lot of pieces. It seemed like it was a lot of pieces for no reason. Like I felt like, there had to be a more simpler, easy version of this same concept that I could have purchased instead of this because now I have all these extra pieces that I don't really need and I don't even remember how much this was, like probably like 20 bucks just for this little shelf that I ended up needing. So, I mean, I don't know, but I mean, I do like the fact that it is like a U shape, so it leaves this open space in the middle where I can actually still use my Lazy Susan for the bigger bottles. I mean, whatever, I'm gonna put the rest of the pieces back in the box and maybe I will find use for it later on. Mm -hmm. 